something completely different in this case. It's Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. Today I'm going to talk about the reason why I work with power slide. <laughs> so the reason why I work with power slide is mainly roller skates. That's how I first got into power slide after a few years not working with them. Yeah, let's go back. So I used to be a skater for power slide for a few power slide brands like Kaiser, USD, I used to be a brand manager for another cover, but that doesn't really matter. What does matter today is roller skates. And roller skates are the main reason why I started working with Power Slide again. I approached them with the idea to produce a skate for ramp skating. And that skate is here. That skate is. This. This is the tire, Kaya. A lot of people say Chaya, but I think it should, you should say it Kaya, Karma. I didn't choose the name, but still, I like it. The Kaya Karma skate. Dun, 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 Whoop! Done. So, what's different between these skates and every other roller skate on the market? To start off, it's the only roller skate for ramps. Yeah, I think it's really the only 100% roller skate for ramp skating. It's not a dance roller skate, it's not a derby roller skate. It can be used for all of those things. And you can use it for your roller rink if you want, but this skate was 100% made for ramp and street skating. Where should I start from? Starting from the bottom and then we go here. So starting from the bottom, wheels. The wheels are Octo wheels and Octo is the wheel brand. These skates come with Octo Momentum wheels. I've done a few videos about it and the Octo Momentum are 100A. They are 58 millimeter wheels and yeah, they're really, really hard. They're like really good for ramp skating. If you're gonna skate outside, if you're not really into to hard wheels, it's not going to be the most comfortable wheel. Huh? Keep in mind, this is a, a, a skate mainly for park. If you're gonna go street skating with this, you have some wheels which are really good for grinding, for cruising around, not that much. Keep that in mind, okay? This is a, a trick specific roller skate, probably the only one. Anyway, bearings, they come with Wicked 8 back 9. Let me just check this, let me confirm it, okay. They come with Wicked Free Spin ABEX 7. Free Spin bearings are usually really good, so these should be really good bearings. My bearings are completely dead, so I'm not going to spin, because otherwise you think that. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna change my bearings soon, I promise. Let's go to the plate. The plate, let's go to the plate. The plate, it's a Kaya Chari plate. It's a reworked version from the previous one of these. It's a reworked version of the first cherry plate. The main difference is here where you have the toe stop. So basically it's there's the metal piece receiving the, the toe stop which will make it a lot stronger. Why did I say that the metal piece will make it a lot stronger? Don't you want the plate to be strong all the way around? Well, you want the trucks to be strong and the trucks are not made of the same material. The plate, the real plate here, that you can't really see because there's a block. It's a, a nylon and fiberglass composite. It's It's been used on inline skates for a while. And yes, it's more forgiving. Why do you want the more forgiving plate? Well, the bigger you go, the more is the impact. If you're gonna start skating like on big gaps and things like that, you want the skates to help you absorbing the shock also a little bit, right? I think that makes sense but at the same time the grinding parts or the parts that you need to be more precise that's where you have the aluminum like the trucks the receiver for the toe stop obviously the 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 structure of the toe stop the grind block will be the last thing that we're going to talk about something completely different in these skates it's the way that the plate is connected to the boot and yes, you can connect this plate to other boots that you have because the holes are here and you know it, you can always drill holes wherever you want. Obviously, if you do that, then you can put this plate and these blocks in other boots. But this boot and this plate have a different system. Basically, there's two screws holding the plate 
on the boot. There's one screw here, you can't really see it here, and there's another screw there. You screw them from the inside. Basically, you take the insole. I did some videos about it, so you can just go back and look for those videos. You take the insole, there's a little rubber insert that you take out, and then you just and it's done, ready to go, super solid. Yeah. And obviously because this plate is made for this boot, it's just like bananas. I'll say why. Because now that we're going to the boot, I can tell you, the boot is actually really, really supportive. Basically, you can't really see it here, but there's the, all this part that I'm going with my finger here, 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 here. There's like a whole nylon and fiberglass heel cup around your heel. That's why it's called heel cup. And then, it comes all the way to the side, it will protect the side of your foot, also keeps it like strong and it's stiff. It's, prote it's protecting your boot and at the same time it's supporting your foot. So it comes all the way here and then in front you have your toes protected. Yes, because it's this material which is really hard underneath, you can rip these parts. It's going to happen, obviously, but that's because it's really hard underneath. But you also needed this protection. I guess you're gonna agree with me on that? If you're scared of ripping this part, with me it doesn't really happen because I don't drag my toes a lot. But if you're one of those that drag your toes a lot, maybe just consider using some toe guard. All this area around your foot is hard, nylon and... <sighs> nylon and fiberglass composite. That's it. <laughs> then, yeah, this is all, this is leather. Is it leather? Sweet, le yeah. Sorry. If you are a vegan, this part, it's a sweet leather upper and microfiber, which means that there's leather in it. But that was the strongest that we could find. Also, here, this little piece, you can hold the skate like this, but you see this little, little tiny hole here? I don't know if you can see it. There's a little tiny hole here. The main goal for that is, why am I not doing that? I suck sometimes. And I'll be able to do it. Sure, See, this little hole, you can put the laces underneath. So basically what happens with me is I don't really feel like I need to tie these a lot. Because my heel is in the right position, I feel that with this skate, I have enough support, even not lacing the two holes, the two loop holes on top, I don't need it. I lace my skates all the way till here only, and that's it, and I feel enough support. But I do know that some people like Barbara, Barbie, Barbara Luciana, she ties them all the way to the top, and she still goes in the back, and she goes around. But there's a lot of different people out there with a lot of different ways of skating, and I respect that, and I think if that works for her, she should keep doing it, that's it. But at least with this skate, you can do that and you're gonna feel the support. But if you do it with a soft skate, how are you gonna do that? I'm not talking shit about other brands. It's just, if you want the really supportive skate, this can work. And I know there's people out there that for them, they would still need more support. <laughs> so, I don't know, might be doable. You can do some custom stuff in here. If you're, if you're keen on, on getting your Kaya's Karma's more supportive, tell me and I'll tell you privately <laughs> how we can make this skate more supportive. Then, something really cool about these skates is the foams. These foams are heat moldable. What does that mean? So, you know those two holes that I told you? Take those plates, just the boot, just like this. You chuck this thing in the oven, five minutes, 100 degrees, take it out, fit inside, tight it as much as you can, all the way to the top. When you take it out, the foams on the inside of this thing will be molded to your foot, which means that the skate will even be more comfortable. I don't need it. I never felt like I needed it because it's been super comfortable for me. The first ones that I had, I struggled. I had the red ones at first, there was just a sample and they were a size European 42. So they were a little bit too small for me, but now that I got the right size, I don't feel like I need anything else. So this, perfect for me. It comes in one color only at the moment, only black with this white sole. <laughs> and it comes with red laces. I changed my laces, I like this 
black looking skate and the inside of the skate is red it comes with um, a unique like original version of the momentum wheels the octo momentum wheels this colorway will not you will not be able to find it on the aftermarket because the wheels on the aftermarket are usually white with the graphics in yellow and blue and these ones come with the graphics in black and red so it's a little bit different and then the highlight of this skate it's here and the reason why i say it's the highlight look at here see it it's not broken it's out of center on purpose it's meant to have this little wing piece whatever you call it, it's a backslide plate only on the outside but you can also change it all the way the other way around if you're learning why do we have these asymmetrical grind block well these asymmetrical grind block will allow you to grind with your feet in different positions how can i show you this this is a pole stick we're going to use it as if it was a rail usually on a roller skate this is all you do you usually just grind like this right just like this but because the grinding surface is so slim this will allow you to do all these different movements to your skate right easy but now imagine if you would use a super slim grinding surface without any plastic here when this piece would touch when the boot touches the, the, the rail it will be super sticky and will make you stop so we added this plastic wing it's called backslide plate so we added this plastic wing so when you bend this way there's a plastic piece touching and then there's two plastic pieces touching the rail and then you can control it and now you can control and grind like this one way or the other you can grind like this like this like this like this as you want for a lot of you if it's your first trick skate and if you've never grinded before it will feel a little bit weird when you put your feet they're gonna go like whoop for so when i was in barcelona i've seen that barbara first at the block the other way around <laughs> they send her the skates first and then they send her the blocks and she didn't really knew how the blocks were mounted and you know what they work we had no idea if they would work or not and i first saw it, i was like no way but the truth is they do work so once you put the blocks the other way around what happens is so you got your feet and if you're not used to use any blocks like these at first the first time that you do a, a stall your skates will do this boop, because you don't know what to do so if you put the blocks the other way around what happens when you put the blocks you go like boop, and this is the position that you want your feet to be like this to do your first grinds like, This actually was working really really good for Barbara and then I told her wait but you're doing it wrong you need to put it the other way around and then we changed the blocks and then she started doing stuff like this like this like this like this like this basically with these asymmet asymmetrical grind blocks you'll be able to put your feet with in a lot of different ways and control the grinds with your feet in those ways does that make sense i think it does at least for me it does the only thing that for some of you you might still have some doubts is the trucks are not too wide right yes the trucks are not too wide but depending on the wheels that you have usually if you have these wheels you'll be able to grind with this you'll be able to do grinds with this and i've seen people on instagram doing rails like there's this girl on instagram i don't know her name i'm gonna try to find her name again and i'm gonna try to put one clip right here i found it so i know that this girl she's been doing grinds with these and she never i don't know if she can even do like front sides and back sides and stuff like that but i know that she can grind on the trucks on these skates so yes it's doable important for you to know at first these little two wings here come a little bit high right but you do one grind two grinds and they're gonna be at the exact same height as the as the truck check this out 
If you tight your trucks too much, your trucks go lower. If you change the bushings, your trucks can go lower or higher. So we add these block a little bit higher, just like a few millimeters higher. If you put it too low, it's gonna be a little bit higher. If you keep them a little bit more loose like me, then it's perfect. It works better this way. It's my opinion, I've been testing them, so I know exactly what I'm talking about. I wouldn't tell you this if it wasn't the truth, so please believe me on this one. <laughs> I guess that's it, man. For now, the blocks are coming in white. I'm not sure if they're gonna make the blocks in any other color, at least for now. There might be a few for, a few pro models coming out of the Karmas. Maybe, maybe not. I can't really tell you a lot about this. What I can tell you is that I really love this skate. It works for me a lot. And this is the skate I'm gonna be using to skate in Brazil. In two weeks from now, I'm going to Brazil. I'm gonna be doing some workshops in Brazil. Votar no Brasil, cara! And that's it. So in Brazil, I'm gonna be using this one, so. Ending this. Just as a conclusion, if you're looking for a Ramp Roller Skate, this might be your only option. And yes, it's been two years of my life into this. So have that in mind when you try them. Trust me. The first time you skate them, it's going to be weird. And I'm not saying this in a good or in a bad way. It's going to be different. It's not a regular roller skate. It's a ramp roller skate. It's supportive. It keeps your heel in the right position. It's going to allow you to grind different ways. And it's different. You don't have anything like that. It's just like, man, you've been roller skating your whole life. You put a pair of inline skates. It's going to be different. It's a roller skate. It works perfect in ramps, but like I said, it's different. It's a different feeling. It looks like super, super flat. And a lot of people is coming from high heel skates. So when they look at this, oh, it's not, no, trust me. When you have a lower heel, your foot is a lot stronger. The more like this you are, the harder it is for you to have a twisted ankle. If you're like this, it's not as supportive for your ankle. All these things were, we had these things in mind when this skate was being made so yes for some people they feel like they're falling backwards so yes you can change that you can you can put some shock absorbers you can put some heel pads don't go too big <laughs> it's not a raised heel skate so yes you can have like a little centimeter you can you can do some stuff like in every other skate you need to customize them. You need to make them your own skates. And that takes time. You need to skate them, you need to get used to it. And I'm talking too much about these skates. I think you already want them. So you know what? <laughs> just go on the internet, go to the next shop and just get the skates. Cause <laughs> I could be talking about the skates forever. I'm not going to be talking anymore. Just get your skates and go out and enjoy just like i'm going to enjoy mine now so cheers guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel yes subscribe to the channel i'll be making more of these <laughs> other than that just don't forget why we all started skating because it's fun cheers see you soon